everyone welcome back for more exo zeros content today's video we're going to discuss the new update new freebies new events and a lot more but before that if you want to see more updated exo zeros content please hit the subscribe button down below hey guys hope you are having a lovely day today so to start off with our update episode we're going through um first day new hero chance up for saint west so we have uh, number one a new nation number two three new heroes for this update and actually they have their own banner which is kind of weird because um usually these are reserved for fate course so now it's a hero chance up so anyway this is the first time that we'll have a single banner for a chance up rate for the three heroes so if you can see up here the chances of you obtaining are there carries 0.5 nemris is 0.7 and john donk is one percent um by the way guys nemris is a guy so if you guys think she's a female think again she's a guy so or he's a guy <laughs> so i'm not sure why they put this art there but um just to just to get it out of the way so anyway that is it for the new hero chance up next would be on the events that we have is a premium recruit free 110 times so this is actually is a free 11 pull for 10 days so if you can see here it's a 10 plus 1 so it will start on january 28th after the maintenance after february 25 so you'll have a chance to get um free uh free pulls free heroes possibly free fate course for this event so log into your accounts every day for 10 days between january 28th and february 25. the next event that they're going to bring out is again another series of um, gifts from leafy so this is a seven days of gifts season three update celebration so these are the gifts that you'll be receiving if you log in again for the next seven days so day one 200 zest day two 500 gold day three 700 books of experience day four 50 die coupons day five five nation recruit tickets day six 500 zest and the big kahuna is going to be your exclusive weapon selection ticket this is what actually uh, everybody's looking towards because you'll be able to select an exclusive weapon from all of the heroes that have exclusive weapons already so this is actually going to be given by leafy um in in the town that you're going to be in so for every for every nation there's going to be a town there on your lower lower right portion um leafy will be there to give your reward the next would be season three package release so there will be a special package for season three so here are the contents the next would be the main update itself so the main app update is going to drop on january 28th and it's going to be a total of nine hours actually probably more so let's go towards the first update that they have first page would be um season three blooded rhapsody update so this is simply going to be a, another chapter which is chapter 15 so bloody flower chapter 14 will be modified or be downgraded as well so new hero update as you see there um there will be three new heroes added to the game particularly from the nation of saint west so first the queen which is carrie so most of you guys have been teased with um, how Kari looks in the previous weeks already and next would be Nemeris um, his uh, her heir to her throne so again son of Kari okay take note the first queen of Saint West next would be John Donk of course the husband of Kari so king 
King King Donk is here. So she uh, he is the third uh, faded hero to arrive in our game. So those are the three heroes that we have for you. I'm uh, sorry that Line Games has for you. I'm not I'm not employed with Line Games. Sorry. So to add as well, there will be a new nation, Saint West. So an elite military, Saint West is being added. So it's like a military nation. It's located in the south of Brun and the Nombe. <clears throat> Cross the bridge at Brun and the Nombe to go through Dock. Okay, so it's a new map portion going to the south. So along with the St. West update, the world contents of St. West are being added. So St. West Capital City, Alester is being added. So this is what I mean in terms of uh, Leafy 7 gifts. So usually when you enter the Capital City, um leafy is there um to wait for you for your seven days of gifts for the and log in for the for the seven day duration okay so because of the update they will be adding another five levels so 60 to 65 for your accounts and you'll be receiving nation recruit tickets and 30 die coupons so no more zest for us for the rewards for the account level expansion it used to be zest but um and i enjoy this more than nation recruit tickets so anyway challenge mission update the challenge mission is being organized so the the challenge portion if you if you can remember on on the on your challenges they will be um reorganized um uh, through your story guide and content guide so they will be distributed there and the new content for the challenge mission update would be the hero growth guide. So this is something new that we'll be adding to the challenges, which will give us more rewards by completing challenges as well. So basically a new content for the challenges. Okay. So new fate core rate silver added a new fate core rate silver will be added. So the first that will be given to us is is uh, Cafe de, de Chat Astarte. So Astarte's FC will be given to us and uh, she will be a Silver Fate Core with skills that can help us clear the stories. So if you can take a look at her skills below. So her new skill because of her Fate Core added will be Skilled Entertainer. So overtime effect increases attack, defense, and health of all allies by 70% upon starting a battle in North One Frosty. So, if I may recall, North One Frosty content is in the chapters. Um, she, I think she can be used there. So we'll try once the update is already here. We'll try to do that. So title update: a new title function will be added to describe your achievements. You will auto, you you can automatically gain title if you clear a certain achievement from the titles you hold. Choose the one that you would like to have be shown. Title is set to show account information, village, and air squadron hideout. Not only competitive content such as Sibens Tunier, Embodiment of Avarice, Infinity Core, but various titles of interesting achievement are being prepared. So you're just going to be given a Lord of something or a Duke of something. So it's a title to be added to your name. So that's just it. Nation Recruit Improvements. So the Nation Recruit Improvements basically this just says that um once you complete level one it will not reset until you completed levels two and the final level so it what it will not re, uh, reset after you complete level one that's it so you have to uh, finish level two and, and level three the final then it will reset so that is a good improvement for everyone so next would be your signature force signature force updates would be uh stage three and waste wasted red signature force which is my nation so very happy for that but i'm still at level one so too bad for me so, say stage two in vagabond signature is being opened as well so good for schmidt and company so what is the signature force so signature force is couple of uh, skills added to your nation specifically to who you selected or what you selected okay 
So the additions to Wasted Red Signature Force for level 3. So 3-1 three, adds light element damage to heroes from Wasted Red. 3-2 Garf status increased. 3-3 three, three, increased status of heroes of Wasted Red nationality. 3-4 reduce elemental damage of the heroes of Wasted Red. This is good. So this makes them tougher as well. Vagabond Signature Force effect. So stage... 2.1 provides buff to heroes if nation three more vagabond national heroes actually there are only three of them so <laughs> so this is actually funny um with three heroes so you have to use um uh, schmidt you have to use seowa and you have to use so we can see on for this one so number 2.2 adds light element damage to heroes with of vagabond 2.3 awaken zeon status increase 2.4 increase status of heroes of vagabond nationality so the daily com daily mission content improvements we have this is basically just to summarize for those of you who don't want to read this so basically for your challenges which requires you heroes for different stages especially from special stages and lunatic stages they will just um they will actually take away one hero uh reduce the number of required heroes of an element to make a team hero by one make a team by one hero so reduce the number of heroes uh required to complete lunatic and special so that's it that's basically it the, not to be confused with 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 language here so highest difficulty that you will proceed the quick battle will be set as a default okay so that's just it for the daily mission very good because a lot of um, a lot of newbies beginners will have the chance to clear this faster because it's as it has been a pain for new new heroes a uh, new heroes new players especially when especially when i started so also for those who are starting the game it this will be easier for you guys new scout hero added so obviously the three new heroes will be added to the scout system so but their requirement for scout points is a little bit low so that's <laughs> for carry it's only six thousand compared to you have dorka i think which has nine thousand so i don't know why it's lower for them so kind of good um also saint west soldier replacement so new new Saint West is being added. The soldier it will be replaced. Changes, blah blah blah. Moving on. Okay, not really important. Door to creation improvements. So there will be a new improvement which will give us tombow experience, but it will be it will be what you call this only ten times per day. Expected reward will be changed from randomly obtained one of the inferior score experience score to randomly obtained of the inferior tome of experience. So it's a random pull again, but it will be give us tome of experiences. So good. So we will have better use for for the exodium experience. So better use for the currency of ex ex exodium. Um, if you guys have been saving this up, you can actually pull 10 per day already. So here we are with the update announcement number two. So Gutter will be will be in the hero battle now, starting after the update. So he is the featured hero that you will get in the hero battle. Choice Forge event. So what is Choice Forge? Okay. Um, typically, if you select a physical type helmet and, and reach the needed mileage, you receive a faded, ra faded rate physical type helmet. So basically just an improvement in the Choice Forge. Event reward. So faded rated armor of the selected attack type and equipment part. You can only obtain uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So that's still with the Choice Forge. Convenience improvements, package shop improvements, as you've seen earlier, extra skip, extra recruit effect. So recruits will be taken out. Number the others is removal of few effects in the door of creation. Yeah, because it takes too long just to pull for something because of the animation takes too long. 
manage hero inventory this is related to your guard stones and this is good because so, because you won't you actually have a difficulty all of us have, are having a difficulty in looking for um, particular guard stone of a particular hero so this actually gives a better improvement of finding it quicker for each guardian stone of each hero okay your journal as well will be will be adding um, a sorting system on which nation the heroes belong to so next would be also would be the exos pass exos pass will be will be getting a receive all button for those rewards that you haven't collected yet so that you won't click on them um, um, one at a time next would be you pierce labyrinth will have a um, little bit of changes uh, times two button as well for you pierce labyrinth skip function for tutorial section this is good for those who are re-rolling their characters they will have to skip the tutorial and move to to re-rolling and summoning then try another account and this is good for advanced players who are are coming back and have deleted their account already okay wag run fest improvements as well no changes in the war participation for 10 players in multiplayer mode to so reduce time matching for multiplayer mode yes please because this has been very slow and i haven't used this yet leave his uh, gift for seven days again it's in the update Upris labyrinth uh, will be open again starting January 31st for new content. I'm oh, no, sorry, for new missions for the new uh, Pierce Labyrinth. Basically, new missions is just a reset, reset of when we can enter and get get Zest again. Okay, so Infinity Core, um, the Fate Core team for Infi for Idol Two will be added. Monthly season missions will resume actually again after the update so they, i'm happy for this one because i finished this a long time ago so here are the rewards that we have so um there are a couple of changes ultimate orbs are actually being the, being added as a change for number five and number 14 it's very good so for our number three update we have uh, february exos pass is opening um i don't want to explore more on exos pass cumulative payment event we have a new one we will for those of you guys who wish to purchase um, items for the cumulative payment event you'll be getting another orange fate core which is for Baelish our favorite Baelish so this is how it's going to look like when he's with Saint West so for those of you guys who want to purchase uh, for the community payment event, you will get him as a freebie um, as you complete one steps one to step four. Okay, so that's just it. I'm ass I'm assuming he is in Orange Fate Core, so <coughs> he won't that he won't have that much of skills just for aesthetics. So others numerous bug fixes and improvements to the game for the last page of the update so the update um what can i say my thoughts it's um number one the what do you call this the the new heroes for the chance up is kind of under underwhelming because usually we were expecting fate course to be put there not just regular heroes or even fate fated fated heroes um the improvements are good um new content has been added but again we'll have to try it out again if you know if we'll enjoy it or not or if it's you know re relevant or not or it would even pique our interest or not but anyway this has been the update that has been teased and it's dropping in a couple of hours so guys be ready i'll see you in the game take care everyone stay safe this is the warden and i'm out